Okay, like I just said, I'm doing another video. Um, yesterday, I mean, I've been thinking about it for a while to contact my ex because, you know, I never. You know, I'm still have feelings for him. I'm still. What is this? Yeah. This, this trick is uh, messaging me. He didn't get the message. I'm not interested. Not my ex. I'm talking about another person. It's so funny that it comes up right when I'm doing a video. So. Yeah, I, I, I still love this guy. And I didn't mean for us to break up. He broke up with me. Because I sent him a video. We contact by videos. I'm working a lot on myself. You know, with, I was watching a lot of narcissistic uh, abuse um, videos. And I watch other self-help videos. And I was upset that he was not working on himself. I mean, I'm judgmental about myself, so I was even harder on him, I guess. I know. Or hard on him because I'm hard on myself. And it's like I took the role of guiding him. You know, I was guiding him with his working out, making him uh, report back to me with screenshots of his cardio. And he would try to back out of it with the lamest excuses, and that frustrated me. And then the thing that We've had other issues, but I mean, um, he decided to take a day to go smoke pot, go buy some weed and smoke it. He's been wanting to do that for a while, instead of actually working on himself, and I thought that was like my last straw. Um, his problem saving money. Not that I'm saving money right now, because I'm not making enough. Um, but I have some investments and I have a little bit of a cushion and he doesn't and he doesn't value himself you know and I so anyways he values other people but not himself and so I saw a video by Ollie Matthews and it was promising you know that I forget pretty much what it was maybe I should look it up but I could look it up because I sent it to my ex by uh, iMessage and he freaked out. You know, it was basically, you know, just help the person, guide the person, you know, he doesn't know, whatever. And we never have conversations like that. When we have deep, deep conversations, he, he t plays the victim role, you know, so, he d you know, and he goes into his head a lot. So, um, yeah, so he... You know, took off his mask and started letting me have it by message. And, you know, after he got all that out, I was trying to, you know, be nice to him and, you know. Um, but he had said that, you know, we should be friends. I'm like, I'm not going to be friends with this guy, you know, if we can't even get through a deep conversation without some sort of blow up um, and I don't like to be kept at arm's distance um, then he said on two se two other occasions that we were friends and he asked me if I want to be friends and I said sure I think I said this in a video already so since then we haven't talk spoken you know he's, he said he would come to one of the CBT meetings and he didn't come he said he would come bring my stuff you know He's not an action-oriented person, and that's what was the problem. And I, the mess, the the video I sent him was based another message. I might have to remove this guy. He's not getting the message. But um, yeah. So you know, basically, I told him, I guess this was what the video was also, is that he had a lot of anger that he was dealing with, you know, passively, aggressively, or passive-aggressively, by not doing stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, the video was like someone just staying on the couch all the time, and whatever. 
So anyway, so that that was it, and so he thought I said he was a narcissist, and I was accusing. I was just pointing out stuff that he had anger issues because of his father, and that he, you know, it's it's affecting us, and that's when he lashed out. I guess my tact wasn't that good, but I had been sending him lots of videos. He would send me a few videos, and that's how we communicated. And at the time I sent the video, I didn't talk to him for the whole day because I was trying to get my composure because I was upset of him, you know, sabotaging himself by going out to smoke pot, you know. And, uh, yeah, so then this video came up, it was like perfect timing, so I sent it to him and that's when he lashed out and blah, blah, blah. So it's been a few months, I guess, May, June, July, three months since we haven't spoken. And I want, and I, he didn't speak to me, he didn't, and I was pretty upset about that, you know, and I was like, I really, I'm thinking about the guy a lot, and I said, okay, I'm, I do care about the guy. So I finally texted him yesterday, and, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, and he says he's changed a lot, and I say, how so? I'm like, what did you lose weight, shave your, oh, he has a shaved head. I didn't ask him, I said, dare I ask how you changed? And he says, I've gotten a lot into myself. I'm like, oh no, not again. That's, <laughs> go back to your old, hab your old habits, you know. You know, telling yourself that you, you don't going out with, not going out with anyone. That's what he did before he met me. So it's like, how has that changed? You're still doing the same thing, you know. I didn't, I didn't say any of that stuff. I just want to, you know, I invited him over to talk. He said he'll come spend the day. We'll see what happens. You know, I told him I miss him. I, I still have feelings for him. I did not want us to break up. You know. He really is a nice guy. He's talented and he's beautiful. It just frustrates me that he's not doing anything with his life. You know. Um, he's aware of it, but you know, he's not doing anything. And it's, he said he left me alone because uh, so I could be more focused and get my stuff done and whatever. How am I getting stuff done? It's a one step at a time. You know, it's not like from even three months. It's not like I'm going from zero to a hundred. You know, just keeping myself on a path from day to day. But yes, we had problems. I mean, he snored a lot. I couldn't sleep. I was. A lot, anxious a lot from certain things, but it's because I was anxious about myself, you know. Uh, so, we haven't spoken since yesterday, so that's cool. I mean, that's kind of how I like it, that at least I know he's there, we could talk, not being so glued together, which is not what I wanted. That's just a little stream of thought. Thought I would mention it.